Emeritus Senior Minister Goh Chok Tong is retiring from politics after 44 years as an MP. He announced this in a letter to Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong yesterday. PM Lee has accepted Mr Goh's decision for a lifetime of distinguished service in a reply today. The 79-year-old Mr Goh was first elected to Parliament as an MP for Marine Parade in 1976. The former Prime Minister has recommended Dr Tan Si Leng to take his place. Dr Tan has been understudying Mr Goh for nearly two years and was unveiled as a new PAP candidate this morning. Meanwhile, former Workers' Party Chief Lau Tia Kiang, as well as party stalwarts Chen Shou Mao and Peng Eng Huat will not be contesting the general election on July 10th. Party Chief Pritam Singh said during a press conference that the WP leadership came to this collective decision with the three men some time ago when they shared their wishes to step down at the end of their term. Mr Chen and Mr Lau will be replaced by Mr Gerald Giam and Mr Leon Pereira to contest in Aljunied. News editor Zakia Hussein and foreign editor Jeremy Ao Yong joins us now. Zakia, let's start with you. What's your reaction to ESM Go's announcement? Did it come as a surprise? Um, I, it didn't come as a surprise. I think this had long been one of the anticipated big announcements ahead of nomination day. Um, and leadership renewal has been a constant tradition of the PAP at every election. Uh, one hint that this you know, could be coming soon was when Mr Goh's successor at Marine Parade, uh, Dr Tan Si Ling, mm -hmm. uh, was introduced as a PAP candidate this morning. And both men actually have been busy walking the ground and I think ESM Goh had been dropping hints you know, with residents as well as um, on Facebook uh, over the past few days about his imminent announcement. Mm. The PAP team in Marine Parade GRC before Parliament was dissolved was made up of Mr Goh, Speaker Tan Chuan Jin, Edwin Tong, Fatima Latif and Sia Kian Ping. Do you expect a further shake-up to this lineup besides uh, Mr Goh retiring and Dr Tan Si Ling possibly joining? Um, I think there'll be one more change in, in Marine Parade GRC. Uh, Mr Fami Aliman was introduced as a candidate for the PAP on Wednesday and uh, he's been actively walking the ground in uh, Geelang Sri Ward where Dr Fatima has been um, uh, MP for the past three terms. Uh, again, many of the retiring MPs have yet to make their announcements formally and uh, I think this is expected in the coming days um, when the party launches its manifesto and announces its uh, new lineup of MPs. Um, and I think this is, this is an announcement to watch. But at the same time, I think you'll see um, Mr Tan Chuan Jin as well as uh, Mr Edwin Tong continuing to helm the team in Marine Parade. Hmm. Well, there was quite a major shake-up over at WP as well. Um, at the same time, the party said it will contest uh, four GRCs and two SMCs. Jeremy, what position is WP in now, given that it will be missing three familiar faces? Yeah, so today was really quite the end of an era, I think. Uh, the Workers' Party has been synonymous with uh, Mr Lau for a very long time. He was their party chief for 17 years. He is the oldest uh, or the longest running uh, opposition MP in parliament, having been elected since 1991. Um, and the other two, Mr Chen Shou Mao and Mr Peng Eng Huat, are quite notable uh, party members in, the, in their own rights. Um, Chen Shou Mao was the WP star catch in 2011 and uh, Mr Peng has won he was uh, Mr. Lau's chosen successor in Haugang and he has won two consecutive yeah. elections there. So what we're looking at really is uh, the WP has six MPs now, three of them are retiring. Uh, mm -hmm. That is quite a change for any one party to take and for and that one of them is uh, Mr. Lau Tiakyang, that's even bigger. So uh, the party chief, Mr. Pritam Singh, did, did talk about how they were doing this for renewal. I mean, he said the, the, the three did come to this decision collectively with the party and it was anchored on three things really. One, broadening the leader leadership base of the party. Two, making sure these, uh, these younger leaders still had mentors uh, as they were learning how to lead. And the third one he said was that the party needs to change, needs to renew so it can continue to be relevant. 
Still, uh, like I said, this is a lot for one party, a lot of change for one party to take at one time, and I think it, we can see some of the effects in that. In that, the WP is fielding a smaller uh, slate this year, uh, just 21 candidates in six seats compared to uh, 28 candidates in 10 constituencies the last time.